that for true justice fighters, oh, I'm not thinking of people with um okay, don't let me go there for now. For true justice for Mubad, true justice for Mubad fighters, for me, I don't believe anybody is wrong or right. Or or is okay, everybody is totally wrong. I just want to believe that our perspective is what differ. Mm. So for me, why they said why they wrote this um publication might be to them because the corona was being undoed. You know, was done once a month, once in two months. They felt it was lagging. But if I'm going to give an insight or recommendation into this, this is what I'm saying. We would have done a publication to wake up the corona if she was sleeping. That we understand that this uh, inquest is happening only once every month. We want to plead to your lordship that this be extended to twice a month or three times in a month i've been privileged to be at the inquest and i will tell you categorically it's not an easy job the judge sits as early as 9 a.m don't forget that this inquest is just part of the job she does and she has other cases. This woman sits 9 to 12. Takes a 30 minutes relief. Break. Comes back to sit on the inquest. Sometimes 3.30, 4.35, we, we are still at the inquest. She has resumed work 9 o'clock. And she's, work, she's still working till like 5 p.m. Most of the time, because of Lagos state government trying to cut costs, they have a particular time that they switch off the generator. By 3 p.m., the generator is off. Sometimes she's still working, and she, they are, she will just put a small fan while she's getting air, and she's still presiding over the case. So, for the group who had said she was incompetent, Mm. They had their reasons. They 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 have what they they know what they saw before they said she was incompetent. They also said she's inexperienced. This is what I would say to being inexperienced. Corona cases does not happen regularly. It does not happen all the time. So probably in the last five ten years, a corona inquest has not happened. In Lagos, in Ikorodu, in the last ten years. So whether you bring the best of judge, yeah. the person too is still going to be very inexperienced. But there is a corona, there is a head of corona for Lagos State, Justice A A Dada. We could have pleaded with our publication that because of the interest of international and other parties in this case, can we have this inquest? handled by the chief corona herself instead of watering down somebody's effort even though she's we can see she's putting a lot into it by my own observation by my own insight by my own recommendation do you understand so, so that was the reason number one where how the corona got stopped the publication then number two, in accordance with court procedure or protocol, two minutes. lawyers will announce their their appearance in court. So on the 23rd of May, 2024, seven months, 25 days after the inquest had begun, Bankole and Smith put forward a motion seeking a joiner in the ongoing inquest that was how this battle began started. that was how it started yeah thank you thank you thank you don't thank forget you. seven months 25 days after this inquest
inquest have started. There should be about four or five sitting that have been done, and they they requested for a joinder. Uh, but you know one thing about the court protocol: when you state your appearance, when you declare your appearance, for example, oh, my name is Wahab Shitu. Yeah, I am representing the family. Can I say my so name is sis sister. Uh, Go my ahead, darling sister. Eh? Um, I want, uh, because I know he's not going to be staying very long with us, I equally want to, you can still be with us here, please. I equally want to hear from our brother, um, Bossman and, um, what's his other name? Bossman and um, the other guy. Yeah, they've been with us. I think uh, you don't, you, you, you'll be a lawyer. Are you a lawyer? Uh? Yeah, be, um, your doing is with us. Let her continue. Oh, okay. Please let her continue. Okay, sister, go ahead. Okay, thank you. You asked if I'm a lawyer. <laughs> no, I say you, you speak like a lawyer. I I can see your kind of yes. attempts. Yes. Deeply, okay, I, I'm not... I'm, I'm going to state Deeply. that I'm not a lawyer. I'm a data analyst. Okay. By Go ahead. profession. That means that if I pick up a document or an analysis on food, anything, I will talk. I will talk like a nutritionist, okay. because I'm trained to analyze. Okay. Yes, and I'm currently running a PhD program in data science and business analytics, so I can analyze very well. But thank you for that. I, I really appreciate. So, seven months after, seven months, twenty-five days after the inquest had begun, Bankoli has put put forward. A motion seeking a joinder. You see, the, you know when you announce your appearance in court, you will say, "I am Bankole. Uh, my name is Professor uh, Isman Smith, representing international observers in the justice, in the pursuant of justice." Then that struck something in the magistrate's head. Don't forget where I started, why the inquest stopped. It was this same group who wrote a publication. So, the judge already had them in a corner of a left mind. The truth of the matter is you cannot but remove or add personality to issues like this. If the judge were to be a man, maybe the man might just want to discuss it and say oh no it's not like that one thing but you have done this to a woman she must have said eh, mm, I'll, I'll catch you so anything could have run through her head the same people who wrote publication against them now came to the court to now seek for a joiner they moved that motion and on the 26th of june the magistrate dismissed the applicant's motion for a jo for a joinder. He refused them. And don't forget, I would say something. Bankoli and Smith, being a member of the public or representing any interest of the public, under the Corona law, they have interest to join. If it is, it is one day. There's no restriction or limitation on when they can join an inquest. Do you understand? So, they can join at any time. Believe you me sincerely, they have all the rights. But maybe, you know, all these things are at the discretion of the magistrate. She has the veto power to decide if she wants or not. That doesn't mean that the magistrate might not make mistakes or might not take irrational decisions sometimes. But it's a court. It's a case. The, the law still gives us some certain rights over a decision. And she said no. But she gave them an option. She didn't totally say no because I know that she's also aware of the, what the law says. She said they can come to court like other regular people and when it is time for cross-examination or if they have to ask questions they are free to ask they came the first
first time, the second time, she insisted that they were not going to be joined as party to the ongoing inquest. You see, the judge, the judge's refusal was what made the incorporated trustee of Ada Wazobia Charity Foundation apply to the High Court to challenge the decision of the judge. You see how beautiful the law is. There are moral grounds. There are law grounds. On moral grounds, we can't, it's a matter for another day or a matter for a different kind of discussion. But if we look at the law, Corona is a public. So if I, Biobi Lawa, stand up tomorrow and say, I also want to apply for a joinder. Sorry, please, can you mute your mic, please? Mute yourself. Uh, who is the person talking in? You have to be the one to mute him. That's just 707. I've seen the person. Let me mute him. I've done that. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. So, if tomorrow, um, one cockroach enter my head too, and I want to uh, apply as a blender to the case, then I will approach the court and also say that I want to. And the court will listen to me because that is what the law says. On moral grounds, it might be a different conversation. So it is not as if the incorporated trustee of Ada Universe are so empowered that they have power that be behind them against the general notion or the public belief that they, they have powers that be behind them. That was why they are able to stop the inquest. You, Jeblin, can stop the inquest. Maybe on moral grounds, you don't find that um, appropriate. But on a lawful ground, if you put forward the application and the motion is pushed, the court will listen to you. So that was what happened. So when they now went to the court, they now uh, uh, they put up an application to the high court to challenge the decision of the judge seeking a judicial review of for an order of Satyarurai in the matter of the corona inquest in the death of Mobad. You see, an order of Satyarurai is just uh, is a means by which a higher court orders a lower court to for a review of the lower court's decision. Magistrate court is a lower court to high court. So magistrate had made a decision excluding a group from their joined down motion that they put forward to the court. They now approached high courts that the high court should squash the decision of the magistrate. So in this case, so upon reading the said motion, Okay, before they, before they did that, the applicant through their lawyers, Ban Collier and Smith, filed a, a motion as party dated 26th of September 2024 before Justice A.F. Pokanu of Court 2, Ikorodu Division. The case came up on 26th September. You see one thing about motion as party. People would ask, okay, but they didn't inform the magistrate before they got the order to stop the proceeding for example i'll give i normally give this example when i'm explaining motion expertise i'm married to somebody I, i've dated somebody for 10 years the person is supposed to marry me you now heard that the person is getting married to another person you didn't want to take the laws into your hands you rush to a court and say court this person is my fiance. I've dated him for 10 years. I've committed so many things to the relationship. It's leaving me to go and marry another person. Please, I want you to stop the wedding from taking place. Let us come before you and talk about it to decide whether you can go ahead with the marriage or the, uh, a 
can go ahead with the marriage or he will eventually marry me. So the court will do something by halting the marriage while they listen to both of you. So if it is a day to wedding, you can receive an order from the court, a ruling from the court saying this wedding that is supposed to take place tomorrow, November 1, cannot happen because there is a motion as party that needed to be moved in court. Let them come and talk about it. So that was the same thing that um, Bankoli and Smith and Ada, incorporated trustee of Ada, did to stop the uh, inquest. So they will first of all put the inquest on hold. Then they don't forget that when they when they sought uh, the intervention of the high court, it became a matter between the applicant, which is incorporated trustee of other universe or whatever, and the respondents are the states and the corona herself, Magistrate Shatobi. So my, these two people will be the, the respondents to the application of incorporated trustee of ADA. And they will go to court and, you know, the, everybody will file, the respondents will file their counterclaim. Lagos State has already filed their counterclaim. They have said Bankoli and Smith, but they are still unable to serve the magistrate. They went to our courts. The magistrate, they, our own registrar, did not collect the service from them. She said she didn't have the instruction of the magistrate to collect anything on her behalf. Oh, uh, probably she's still angry. She's still not. Um, she's still not happy about number one. Uh, a publication written against her and that they are taking it further for whatever reason except until we hear from her we wouldn't know um, we wouldn't know we wouldn't know, we wouldn't know, we wouldn't know uh, somebody is not muted okay thank you so we wouldn't know her reasons but she is the one who is not yet doing the needful and that is why we are still here. So, on the 28th of October, there was a sitting about the state of uh, the state of proceeding. So, E. Ako, Mrs. E. Ako, ap appeared for the applicant. E. O. Akinde appeared for the first respondent, which is the state. Then, there was no legal representation for the second rep uh, respondent. Um, Corona T.A. Shotobi. She didn't send the representation. She didn't. There was nothing. So, the, the, the applicant's counsel informed the court that the first respondent, which is Lagos State, has sent them with their counter affidavit in opposition to the original application. Then the counsel to the first res respondent, which is the state, Iyo Akinde, informed the court that they have filed their counter affidavit and a motion for extension of time. You see where this uh, uh, this thing is going to lead to at the end of the day. When Lagos State was filing their counter and affidavit, they did not only file a response, they sought for extension of time. So as long as, and at the end of the day, the, the extension of time was moved and granted. They were asking for more time. So the first respondent can also inform the court that there are challenges serving the second respondent i said that earlier she would not be served and she did not she told them to take the service don't forget she's not acting she wasn't there on her own by her own directive yeah, all coronas work under the directive of the chief corona mm. of lagos state which has their head division in Nikeja in lagos so she told them to take that service to the Corona office in Ikeja, they will subsequently pass it down to her. Then the court now asked that, they asked him, okay, the first service, how did you serve? They said they took it to uh, the, uh, I think there's a record office for the magistrate. So the judge now asked them to serve her 
again through the same means. So with that, the matter was adjourned to 14th of November for hearing of applicant substantive application. And that was the end of that day. So November 14th is when they will be going on. And meanwhile, when they pray to the courts, these are the things they ask the courts. They ask the court to um they, they ask the court for an order of Saturoria for the purpose of squashing the ruling delivered by Magistrate Shotobi and an order of proceeding following the determin uh, determination of the judicial review. So upon reading through the said motion, the said the motion was deposed by one Grace Abraham. That is a person representing the incorporated uh, trustees of other universe in Nigeria. And upon listening to them, the courts now granted their leave, granted leave to the applicant to apply for the purpose of squashing and in line with uh, an order in Lagos State, they granted the leave hearing granted shall operate as a stay of proceeding. So that's whatever for them to be included. That order was not given to them like a stay of proceeding. So until this is determined, the corona inquest will be on hold. Yeah. And that is one information all hosts should put at the back of their mind. That's it will be on hold. Not because it, it has ended. Okay, you want to say something? No, I want to say thank you for your explanation. It's quite a lengthy one, you know. Uh, you yes, it's going to be because it's, it's long. Yeah, it's quite a lengthy one. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm happy that um, Bossman is here, and at the same time, Moses is equally here. At least they heard everything that you, you said. And um, I think I, I uh, Bossman has something to tell us, because I uh, told him that I wanted to hear details regarding what happened the problem with um our sister what's her name you mentioned her name just now what's her name again Ada, Ada. Name only. Ada universe yeah so at least they have i'm going to actually jay blink uh, yes. um uh, myself moses Tommy moses the other one we are all together okay but so she's wondering the eyes was a when is time for me to get involved and the yeah. time for moses okay. to get part of me yeah, she can begin to talk. So, go ahead. Me too. Sorry, you know, Blinks, you see? Can we, can we go straight to um the other? Yes, that's that's where I'm going to. Okay. You see, if we don't give this background information, yeah, it will appear my submission at the end of the day might appear like I am kicking against Naimoli and I'm supporting Ada. Yeah. So that when I now give a a a submission. Okay. People can because. understand. Yeah. They will understand. Yeah. Because one thing that I've seen across Justice for Mobad is that, you see, in my years in the bank, when you are seeking approval for something, that's where I learned that process from. You first give a background inform uh, inf introduction. Review. Then, yes, a background review of what you're trying to talk about. So that when the uh, authorized signatory picks up you can see a background I'm sorry review. To say this, I was a banker in Nigeria before I left Zenith Bank. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Uh, and I worked in corporate banking. That's the core credit of the bank. You give a, a, a background introduction, you do your, your request, and you do justification. Mm. So now I'm going to Ada University's uh, Neymoli's expose. You see? For everything that at that universe, everybody know at that, to a lot of people at that, what they know is at that universe stopped the inquest. Mm. For every action, Jblix, there will must be equal and opposite reaction. Yeah, I'm very sure before now, a lot of people might not want to investigate or try to find out about Ada. But that state of proceeding instigated reactions across board. One, for the family. But we're not here to talk about family today. How they reacted to the state of proceeding. But I will let you know that all justice for mobile true fighters also reacted. Which one of them is Nehimoli? You see, you cannot... You can't, if you beat a child, 
child. You cannot determine how the child will cry. Yes. You beat a child and you ask the child not to cry. It's not possible. So, Naimoli decided to cry by with uh, from uh, the state of proceeding by investigating other universe. That is the way she chose to react. Jeblings, I know that when you heard, you reacted differently. Yeah. I said something about perspective when I was starting this conversation. The way I see it, the way you see it, the way everybody sees it will be different. But you know one thing our reactions will do. Number one, it will distract some people from if our expose are not cannot be substantiated or are not totally correct. It will affect what we want to do going forward. So, Naimoli decided to react by investigating other universe. She publicly revealed discreditable and scandalous information about Ada, including allegation of a £632,000 fraud and the claim that Ada Universe Foundation was established after Muba's death insinuating it was set up for the purpose of committing a planned fraud. The question is, are these allegations substantiated based on evidence? What are the, the effects of expose like that, or like this, on justice for Mubad? I do want to say something before I go on. You see? Navigating a discussion where there are tensions between personalities and the core and core issues can be very challenging, especially in a situation as emotionally charged as the fight for justice for Mobad. I would want to say something here. You see, while we are making this discussion, there are going to be two different types of issues: personality issues and core issues. You see, personality issues are behaviors of other universities' involvement in the J4M situation, such as, uh, you know, our interpersonal conflicts, our personal biases, or our communication styles. Yeah. Those are personality issues. Then there is Naimoli's expose where she publicly reviewed discreditable, uh, discreditable, uh, discreditable and scandalous information about her. Those which are not, personality which, which was not fully verified. Yes. I'm still going there. That's a personality issue. But what are the core issues here? What killed Mobad? Who killed Mobad? Where did Mobad die? Okay, those claims are they purely Substantiated. I'm talking about Naimoli's expose. Let me make a disclaimer. You see, this topic we are addressing is independent of the personalities involved, whether it's other universe or Naimoli. I'm mentioning your name because this information are information in people have talked about it, and I see that it's affecting uh, what is it called? Is affecting uh, the movement for justice for Mobad, and it's necessary we talk about it. Yeah. You see, one of the things I do as a data analyst, after analyzing, I'll give you insights and also make recommendations. Please, can you guys recommendations, for page, please? Recommendations for other universe. Recommendations for Naimoli. So this is not a personality attack. Let me reiterate. The issue is being resolved because there's a specific problem that needs to be resolved. Decisions to be made. Something impacting or may likely impact the quest for justice for Mobad in the future. Let's talk about the allegation. Number one, there's allegation that other universe used a personal account to collect funds on behalf of justice for Mobad. There is or there are alleged PayPal accounts belonging to Ada Universe Foundation, a Polaris bank account belonging to one Solomon Francisca, amongst others. 
There are also allegations that regarding other universe filing a petition against the corona handling Mobas case, citing incompetence and lack of experience, which led to the exclusion of Bankoli and Smith from participating in the corona inquest. There are also allegations that other universe took actions to halt the ongoing inquest. I understand that emotions are, are, are high and different groups are involved, each with their different perspective and personal interest. I validate that these concerns matter to everyone, but I would like to clarify that the ultimate goal should be addressing the core issue. Now, according to Naimoli's expose, I, 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 I would say this again. What I am 